Hello, everyone. This is Noah in Copeland, designer and director of Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit Sonic the Hedgehog fan game, and I've got an update. The final content update is here. 2022 was a great year for Sonic fan games. Uh, we saw the release of several, including Sonic and the Fallen Star, as well as my own. And it was incredibly rewarding to see, after five years of hard work, uh, everything finally pay off. I've honestly been taken aback by the game's reception. <laughs> Uh, since the PC released in August, uh, my team and I have enjoyed over 170,000 downloads internationally across the world. The game was featured in several gaming magazines like MVC Develop, uh, Sega Maniacs, and it was even awarded Best Homebrew Game of 2022 by Sega Powered. And most importantly, many of you who are watching sent in your emails and your messages and your comments, making sure I knew how much fun you had playing the game and how much you loved it. And so thank you, every one of you, from the bottom of my heart, for enjoying and playing Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit. As promised, we are expanding the game beyond PC. That's right, Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit is coming to Android and Mac. We've been hard at work porting over the game. The Android port was led by Alex Hyrulen. Some of you may know him for porting over another Sonic fan game, Sonic Time Twisted. His expertise was a tremendous help in getting this game to perform better on lower end Android devices, so the frame rate should be smooth now. So if you're curious why the Android port took so long, that's the reason why. We could have released it earlier, but a lot of you would not have been able to run it. So we took the extra time and extra work to optimize the game as much as we absolutely could. So the reason you waited is so that you could get the better version of the game. Hopefully you don't run into trouble, but if you do, please know that we did our absolute best. The Android and other platforms will have all the new content at launch and the PC players can re-download the game to get the new content in this new update. Your save files will transfer. So let's get into it. Um, if you haven't played the game before, what I'm about to say probably won't make much sense. So just go ahead and go play it. Stop the video now, just go do that. But for the rest of you, let's get into it. Bonus stage. A third new bonus stage is now available at checkpoints. Uh, the player will navigate through cannons and gather a new collectible known as blue rings. The stage ends when you reach the bottom and then your blue rings are all tallied up. For every 100 blue rings you get, that's a one up. So another bonus try at a Chaos Emerald. The stage features a previously unused music track by chiptune artist John Tay. Uh, this was originally going to be in the game, both the music and the stage, but I had to cut it for time. So now they're both back and I'm pretty happy about it. As part of this addition, the ring requirements for the bonus stage have been adjusted to the following. 30, 45, and 60. Eggman Returns. In the launch version, Knuckles had a boss rush fight against Knack the Weasel. Um, in this, we've added in an extra fight with Metal Sonic and Robotnik himself. It'll use Knuckles' gliding ability to its advantage. Final conclusion. As many of you know, if you get all seven Chaos Emeralds with Sonic and Tails, uh, you can unlock a secret bonus 100% true final boss. We've added additional cutscene material to add a more of a sense of closure to the ending of the game and its story events. Uh, it's pretty small, so I'll only show a little bit of it here. Speed gates. Speedrunners have been incredibly receptive of the game, so I've included a new optional speedrun challenge that you can turn on in the options menu called Speed Gates. Every Act 2 now has at least one secret shortcut that I've hidden behind a wall. However, the shortcut closes if you don't get there in time. So if you can make it there in good time, you'll get even better time. They're off by default, so turn them on in the options menu. Extra polish. Here are a few quality life improvements coming to the game. The 3D snowboarding section can be configured in the options menu to be shortened or skipped entirely. Repeat players will also be able to skip past the end credits and competition mode cutscenes with the press of a button. The elevator ride in Atomic Destroyer Act 2 proved to be a little more frustrating than I wanted it to be, uh, so I've added four invisible checkpoints so that you no longer restart from the beginning if you die. Free play mode now has an option for continuous play, which lets you keep playing from stage to stage with simple fate. Mobile players will also have touchscreen controls as well as uh, external controllers. Uh, while you can't move the touchscreen UI, you can move where the lives counter is to be more like the Genesis games or more like the Christian Whitehead iOS versions of Sonic 1 and 2. More stuff. Launching alongside the update and ports, the soundtrack will have an official release, something a lot of you asked for, and so now it's out there. Uh, there have been some other uploads of it by uh, other people. Uh, this official release will have all the songs included in the new version as well. Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit also has a new website with more info and secrets about the game. 
as well as a high quality download link to that official soundtrack. Uh, I'd also like to take this time to shout out some other Sonic fan games that are still in development by passionate developers. Sonic Galactic, Sonic New Tragic Panic. Now I have nothing to do with these games, but I just think they're neat, and I think more fan gamers should be giving each other shout outs, so there you go. All right, now for the thing you've all been waiting for. Time to reveal the release date. The final content update, an Android version of Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit releases right now. You can download the game for free at GameJolt.com right now. There it is. That's it. I'm done. Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit is now on Android and other platforms as well with its final content update. Go play it. It's free. It's awesome. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go collapse. Then when I wake up, I'm going to work on my next game. And it won't be a fan game this time. So, and again, thank you so much for playing Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit. See you later.